Hi there, this is Avalon from Crafts Direct, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can channel your inner aerial and make this mermaid tie-dye tank top. To begin, you are going to set up your workspace. I always like to have two layers on my table. So first I have some paper and then a trash bag on top of that. Next, you will grab some cardboard and your tank top that you've already ran through the washer and dryer. It's best if you have a tank top that is 100% cotton. If you have something that has more polyester in it, it's just gonna be a little more muted and more pastel-like, and if that's what you're going for, you can do that as well. Next, you will insert the cardboard inside the tank top. This is going to give you a flat surface to apply the scales onto. It's just gonna be much easier that way. Next, you are going to be creating your mermaid scales with clear tacky glue. Think about making the letter U, but just connecting all of the letters together. So you will do that and work your way from top to bottom. And then you also want to make sure that the scales below it are kind of going every other. So you don't want the scales to all line up. You will want to make the letter U underneath the space where the scales above it connect. Now I'm going to turn off my light and zoom in a little bit so that you can better see where I am painting on these scales. Make your way all the way to the bottom of the tank top. You want it to be completely covered in scales. You will then let it dry completely, and then it's up to you. You can also flip it over and do the same thing on the back and add scales there as well. But you just wanna make sure that whether you do the front or the back, you want the glue to completely dry before we start to tie dye. Once the glue is dried, you will then take your tank top and run it under warm water you just want your shirt to be damp. Next, you will take your dye bottles and you will fill them with water up to the top line. You then want to shake them to make sure that all of the powder dye dissolves. Make sure you do this with all of the dyes before you start to tie dye. To start, I like to use the purple on top. And I kind of just get an idea first of where I want all the colors to go. So I start with purple and then I move on to blue. So I grab the blue next and put it next to the purple. And all these colors are kind of going in a diagonal on the tank top. The tank top was originally hard to get damp because of all the glue. So I also had an extra cup of water sitting by that I could use on the shirt just to add some extra water so that the colors can bleed more. Next, I added the darkest color. It's the sort of blue-green color. And then lastly, I used the green at the very bottom because of course I'm visualizing the tail of a mermaid with green on her tail. So at the bottom, I put the green. Once I had all four colors laid out where I wanted, I then went back and filled in the gaps and then began to blend the colors together. I also continued to use some water when I needed it, but I just went back and filled it all in. Once you are finished tie-dyeing, you will then take the garbage bag and wrap it around the tank top. And then the packaging that the dye came in says that it should sit for six to eight hours, but I wanted the colors a little more bold, so I let it sit for 12 hours. And then after that, I took the tank top to my sink, took it out of the garbage bag, and then began to rinse it in cold water. 
make sure that you are rinsing the entire shirt. You want to make sure that you go through the whole shirt and letting water run through it. And then once the water starts turning clear as it runs through, you then can take the tank top and throw it in the washer and dryer and then it is ready to be worn. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can shop all the supplies needed to make this project at craftsdirect.com projects.